Lights are coming back on here at the American Bank Center as the introductions have been made. Let's bring them to you as well. The starting lineups tonight, first for the Bison, head coach Dave Richmond in his sixth year. An outstanding accomplishment in six years. He's been to the NCAA tournament twice. That's awesome. He's a pretty, an ama pretty amazing guy. Vinny Shahid, you heard about him earlier out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Six foot uh, uh, for a 5'11 senior guard. He is something special. Number five, Sam Griesel, six foot six, 215 pound sophomore out of Lincoln, Nebraska. Jared Samuelson out of Gretna, Nebraska, six foot 385 pound senior. Tyson Ward, another senior, six foot six, 195 out of Tampa, Florida. And Rocky Cruiser, the six foot 10 junior forward, 280 pounds. He will be a presence on the inside. And for the Islanders in the starting lineup tonight, number two, Miles Smith, the six foot 190 pound junior guard. Jalen White, 6'5, 245 freshman out of St. Petersburg, Florida. Jay Sean Talton Thomas, we talked about 6'5", 210 senior out of Oklahoma City. Elijah Schmidt, the senior out of Spring, Texas, and Nolan Bertain, 6'5", 185 pound junior out of Portland, Oregon. It'll be the Bites to control, of course, the head coach is Willis Wilson in his ninth season with the Honor program. The Bison working the basketball. They go to the right wing into Samuelson, getting it in deep now. Yes, Kick back out, it. three ball from all parts of the floor. They'll take it. Cruiser took the shot, the long board out of Shahid. Kick back out. That's the three point shooter. Didn't fall this time. Nice box out by the Onitors. Samuelson missed to the left. The Onitors secure the defensive board. Jalen White works it. Jay Sean Talton Thomas is important. A huge contribution needed, but we can't put everything on him. The Onitors are much better when they're balanced. Absolutely. They'll skip to Miles Smith. Off the mark, long board. Both teams just a little over aggressive on their shot so far right now. It's a feeling out process. They'd like that first one to go. Gives you a lot of confidence early. Absolutely. Uh, Ward gives it up to Shahid. Quickly to Samuelson, three ball corner. And, and that one's went. gonna fall. Yeah, Griesel knocking down Sam Griesel on the season. You want to something? Only his second three of the year. In deep, it's gonna be tipped away. They try to go. I like, you gotta get it inside. The Islanders love the inside outside style of play. Sure. Get it to their forwards, see if they can get a collapse and find those shooters on the outside. And Elijah's done a nice job of getting inside what they can feed him down low. The players on the floor are all outstanding three point shooters. Last night, Jalen White even knocking down three trays. Into the left corner. Going against Griesel, they're going to say he travels on the head and shoulder. That's one of those unnecessary turnovers mm -hmm. that has been plaguing this Texas A&M Corpus Christi team. Just trying to be a little extra aggressive and get a nice move going on. Wanting to get on the board quickly, and it's just not there yet. 3-0 the count, Shahid. Again, the Summit League preseason first teamer. Up faking, Miles Smith with him, trying to turn that corner. Caught in traffic, kick back out. They'll work it back over Griesel. Another three ball effort, won't go long board, Miles Smith. So Griesel was one of 11 before he made his first. Feeling the hot hand, went for it once again. And just another turnover as the Islander yeah. tried to force feed the inside. Behind the back, missing the mark though. Those are deflating. I know it's early in the ball game, but those right there, you want those to fall. And there's Schmidt. Oh, Schmidt got inside, but Feeling some heat from behind by Rocky Cruiser. Ends up going short. Griesel gives it up to the wing. Now into the hands of Shahid. Got a little bit of a mismatch on the top there. That was a dirty little spin move. The left-hander ends up throwing in the teardrop. Tyson Ward makes it a 5-0 lead. The Bison up early. As we said, the Bison, a preseason selection in the Summit League to finish first. Jay Sean has not gotten a shot up yet. Not going to waste time. But they're trying to feed Elijah Schmidt down low, and it's just not there yet. That is this time, and the big flush. <laughs> so a great bounce feed. Hopefully, that's that's one of those that you that you love to break the ice with. It is, absolutely. That should open things up for him now. 
Shahid. Again, there's an interesting switch as Elijah Schmidt is stuck with Shahid on this far side. I was concerned about that. Shahid into the lane, loses it on the way up. They're going to say off the Islanders, though. Into the front row, 5 2 Bisons. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Looks like he was trying to feed Greasel, and it just wasn't there. He said Nolan he got a hand on it. I'm going to say Bertain, interesting enough. I don't like when his back is turned. No. Entirely. I, I've seen that play too many times. <laughs> Throwing it off the back and then taking it in for the layup. Shahid with five seconds on the shot clock. I love it when it's our team. A little push off, lets it fly. Well short and they're going to say it's a shot clock violation because he did not draw iron. He was off the rim about five inches. So a and Corpus Christi on the good defense forces the shot clock violation. Still trailing by three. 16-12 remaining. Miles Smith. Securing. Bertain. Almost throw. a great recovery by Jay Chun. I didn't think he was going to catch up with that one. Nice uh, Jay Chun kicked to Miles Smith. Inside. Up fake. Shoots the fade away. It goes. One point game now. 5-4 Islanders. Creeping back in, four points straight after trailing 5-0. Shahid now with it. To Samuelson, now up fake. And there's going to be a hold on Bertain. 5-4 the count. We'll take a break. 15-34 on the clock. Islanders down one to the Bisons. It'll be Bison basketball when we come back. A Chris Six production of Islanders basketball. Stay with us. More to come. You know the drill. Payroll, end of the month, unpaid invoices. Turn your company's invoices into cash and grow your business. We chose Factoring Services Unlimited based on their 20 years of experience and their ability to turn invoices into cash in less than 48 hours. If you are self-employed or a business, large or small, Factoring Services Unlimited will help grow your business and improve your cash flow. When money matters most, call Factoring Services Unlimited in Corpus Christi, Texas. Kimsell Federal Credit Union has competitive rates and loan products, putting you in control of your financial plans by paying you back for banking with us. Kimsell consolidates credit card balances at competitive transfer rates and terms and offers auto loans at substantially lower rates. Does your bank partner do that? With four local branches and mobile banking at your fingertips, your financial future is in your control. Make the right move to Kimsell Federal Credit Union. We're here for you. Better, better, yeah, better. There it is, there it is. We're back, Elijah Schmidt, big flush. Hopefully that was the play that sparked this Islander team, Miles Smith. Nice little fadeaway jumper to make it a one point contest. The Bison, as we said, a highly regarded team coming out of the Summit League. The Islanders representing the Southland Conference in tonight's matchup. Earlier tonight, it was Stony Brook knocking off UTRGV. Stony Brook defeated the Islanders last night. 2-0 so far in the, the Islander Invitational. Stony Brook will play the Bison tomorrow at 1 o'clock. The Islanders will take the court at 4 okay, when they game. take on UTRGV. That'll be one of those South Texas showdowns presented by Navy Army Community Credit Union. Peyton Smith has checked into the game for Texas a and Corpus Christi. A Veterans Memorial High School kid, local guy. Off the back, did I call that or not? Off the back, but he didn't try and take it in. Did not like turning your back on the basketball. Samuelson back through. Hopefully they'll we'll let that happen again. Cameron Hunter checking into the game with the ball. I expect to see a number of players on both sides. Hunter up faking. Perry Francois has checked in for the Islanders. Kick to the corner and a shot clock violation. Good defense. So resetting the lineups real quick. Jay Sean Talton Thomas, Peyton Smith, Perry Francois, Jalen White, and Nolan Bertain for the Islanders. It's uh, Tyree Eady, along with number four, Tyler Witts, Cameron Hunter, Tyson Ward, and I'll get to the last one in a moment. ND, Perry Francois, looking to roll with the jump hook off the window, missed it. Oh, and Jay Sean picked up a silly foul as he was just kind of lost his balance into Cameron Hunter, so he picks up number one. 
That must just fatigue play a little bit of factor into tonight's ball game. Oh, very much so. Is that what you're alluding to? I've seen a lot of guys coming Absolutely. up the bench playing. This is three games back to back to back early in the season. Yes. You know, so I expect both teams to go deeper to the bench than we've seen to this point. Miles Smith getting ready to come back on. Looking to back in, Tyler Witts. Francois playing Witts. strong. With the left hand off the window. Nicely put him in deep, then spun off to that offhand. Peyton Smith now with the basketball. 7-4, Bison. Bertain hasn't been able to get loose yet. Samuelson has been staying with him tight. They've watched a lot of film then. Yep. Jalen White. He'll pull the trigger on the jump shot. That's off the mark, but an offensive rebound for Bertain. Quick swing. Jay Sean for three. And he has been on fire. Jay Sean Talton Thomas to start the season. Jay Sean now. Eight of 13 from three point range. I think he feels a little slighted not getting a preseason conference nod. I'm not sure if he's really thought much about it. Oh, a quick answer by Hunter. I don't know if he's thought much about it. Maybe internally he hasn't said anything, but. I think he is trying to send a message, and his numbers early in the season have been outstanding. You know, I was Smith. able, fortunate to be able to watch the game he had to, with Vanderbilt, and that was he did an amazing job in that game. Peyton Smith tried to go off the window. Uh, got caught. 10-7, Islanders down three. Hunter behind his back, kind of Jay Sean playing him a little light, having to. Samuelson trying to find an open space. The three-point shooter, they can't get it to him. They'll work it back in deep. Off the mark, Peyton Smith with a rebound. And now to the playmaker now, Jay Sean. They work it through. Got to find your, you got to find your interior angles, and that should be a travel, and it was. So another turnover on AM Corpus Christi on the baseline, underneath their bucket, as a matter of fact. Jalen White checks out as Miles Smith returns. See Coach Richmond directing traffic. What's interesting about Coach Richmond, as I noted, he started there in, in 2002, did two years as a grad assistant, then two years as an assistant coach, seven years as the associate coach, and now is in his sixth year as a head coach. Started as a grad assistant, has worked his way all the way up, and as a rookie head coach, he was the Summit League Coach of the Year the first time ever. A rookie took that title. He doesn't look anything over about a day or two older than 30. Yeah. And Rebound, Jay Shaw. Fortunately, their threes aren't falling right now. Otherwise, the Islanders would be in a big hole. Jason Taunton, and he's, and he's tapped on the way up. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's one of those obvious calls for an official. When the ball ends up going upward yes. in a situation like that, that means you got hit in the hands. If a ball goes straight down, then you have a better chance of saying, no, I, I, I struck it down immediately. Tyson Ward picks up the personal. That's going to be his first team first. Jay Sean Talton Thomas at the line. Ed Kaufmanis has checked in early. Ed's only seen action in one game so far this season, but he is in early and is pretty much to the what we just expected for Jay Sean. A little short on that foul shot attempt. Jay Sean Talton Thomas, 72% coming in. Almost shooting as good from the floor <laughs> as he is. Yes, he is. Hits the second. It's a two point contest. Cameron Hunter out of Olathe, Kansas. They send it across. In deep. Trying to back in on Peyton Smith. Not there. To the baseline. Thought he might have traveled. They say no. Quick spinning. Hunter up faking. Kick around. Three ball right side. No good. Perry Francois going for it. Jump He's ball. on the ground. And there's going to be a foul. Uh, as a matter of fact, they're going to call it on Witt. I think the way he landed on top of him. The way that he landed yes. on Francois to chase that ball is going to be the penalty. 12-19 remaining. First on Wiltz. Wits, excuse me. So a and Corpus Christi can tie or take the lead in this possession. Peyton Smith. Looking for Miles. Pops free. Left open for a moment. Wasn't looking to shoot. He was already had the mindset of putting it on the floor. He was pretty open that time. Kaufmanis keeps sending it around. You see that a lot. Lob feed to Perry Francois. Up fake. Oh, Ooh. tried the big flush. He's fouled. I love the aggression. I absolutely love the aggression going for the flush. 
He may not have made it, but I love that aggression. He'll shoot two when we come back. 10-8 the score. Bisons lead. Francois will go to the line when we return. Islander basketball in this Chris Six Sports production. Stay with us. More coming your way. At Physicians Premier ER, our patients know the level of care we provide. Our amenities, technology, and expertise are unparalleled, but you really have to see it to believe it. That's why we're bringing the ER to you. Today, we're at a local university letting students experience the ER in VR. It was a cool experience. I like what I saw. I'm sold. We've made it so patients have very little wait time and can see a real doctor right away. It's better emergency care from arrival until follow-up. We call it the 360 approach. Physicians Premier ER, better care all around. Hey, you, ever wonder what we cool people do to have fun here on the coast this time of year? Oh, yeah. You're looking at a whole new world of excitement and entertainment at Beautiful Waves Resort. Join us for drinks and gourmet dining at Eats Epicura, dancing and partying in the Lookout Pub Emporium, the astounding new Unlocking Atlantis Escape Room, a world-class video gaming lounge, and eSports training facility with a virtual reality zone, movies under the stars on our giant screen, concerts, and year-round heated pool. Tonight or this weekend, come to the island's all-in-one entertainment destination, Waves Resort, Corpus Christi. Oh, and we don't do boring. Well, i tell you one thing, it's been pretty fun so far getting another good contest. I will say this about the Islander Invitational yes. that is taking place. We've got four really good teams, highly competitive, uh, and, and are producing great basketball game in, game out. And to say the least, that's what we're seeing again tonight. 10-8, the Bison lead over your Islanders with Francois going to the free throw line. Absolutely. You know, when you got to get yourself ready for conference play. Even though conference play starts in the middle of next month, you can't don't gain a better advantage by playing weaker teams. You know, sure, it's a great feeling to go up, you know, 3-0, 4-0, 5-0, but if you're not really being tested, it doesn't prepare you for the conference play coming up ahead. Without a doubt. One of the things we talked about earlier, we must control the glass. We actually have eight, eight rebounds compared to five. Each team with only one offensive board thus far. For the Islanders, the three turnovers are compared to only one. That's a number that has to stay in check, so we're going to keep an eye on that one throughout. It is Francois going to the line. As I said before, one of the big things, you could do the little baby jump hook and it could have fallen and he could have got two and worked the other way, but there is a message you're sending when you go for the big flush as well. So Francois. With a beautiful rotation on that basketball. I'll Isn't tell you one thing, from, from the time he got here to the university to where it is now, the way his shot has been straightened out and got that great flick of the wrist. Looks good. He was 2-2 two two coming into this tournament from the free throw line. <laughs> Off the back iron, oversold it. <laughs> That's what we do. Yeah. You know he didn't hear us. No, he didn't. Ward sends it over to, uh, to Hunter. There's no such thing as the announcer's jinx. I beg to, I know a lot of people that would beg to differ. Peyton Smith. Jump hook as he got backed in by number three. That's the second Kyrie of the game, Edie. Edie, six foot five, 215 pounds. That was a little dangerous. I almost got a backcourt just a moment ago as Miles Smith was delivering it back to Peyton Smith. 12 9, back to a three point edge. Kaufmanis, quick swing. Ed Kaufmanis out of Latvia. On the swing, they get it to Peyton. Skip to the corner, it's deflected and taken away. The turnover. Chris Quayle with the basketball. Quick swing. Cruiser gets it back to Hunter. Hunters have to recover. And Peyton Smith. Kickball. They're going to call a kickball. No, they're going to say with the hold. Oh, no, they did he not. Kicked it. They just indicated 20 seconds on the reset. When I saw, saw him turn to the table to give numbers, I thought he was calling the foul, but no, it was just a reset to 20. 19, uh, excuse me, 12 to 9, the count deflected. Hunter, can't go baseline, stepping out. Ward skips. Ward actually the team's leading scorer coming in. Hunter up faking. Loses the handle for a moment, that gives it awkward. up. Doesn't go. Peyton Smith with it. So again, they worked him all the way to the bottom of the shot clock. Jalen White looking to return. Bill number 10 also. Puff Manis. No whistle as he was tapped, but long board. Oh. 
Ooh. Loose ball, and Jayshon does not foul in the process. But Actually seven stepped seconds over. Left. Miles hurry. Smith is aware, and there's going to be a foul on the floor. It's going to be on the big man as Elijah Smith was coming up to screen. It was Cruiser who kind of dislodged him from his position. It was a little awkward, but... Yeah, it was, it was awkward. Kaufmanis comes out with a little bit of a smile coming off the floor as he kind of didn't get it all the way to the rim the way he hoped. Jave Lampkins coming on for Peyton Smith for Texas a and Corpus Christi. We also saw changes as uh, Malik Harden-Hayes on four. The Bison He's returning back. Sam Giesel as well. Uh, Lampkins is back from injury, isn't he? Lampkins, he was at redshirt last year. Bertain, Wheeling, sends it to the corner. Lampkins, the one thing Jave Lampkins, he has seen limited minutes, but he is so not scared of shooting. <laughs> That's just kind of who he is. I've seen a couple of times with him pass up and try to take the extra pass instead of taking a shot. I think that when they were open. Harden Hayes now all the way to the corner. Elijah Schmidt got stuck defending Shahid. We haven't heard a lot from Shahid as he sat for a few moments. We're working it Back down to Shahid clock. now. High three ball, won't just grazes the rim. And Elijah Schmidt does a nice job That's gonna say shielding off. Thing. Not allowing him to get that rebound. Elijah over the years is just, you've seen him progressively get bigger and stronger, more muscular, a lot more core strength. Mm -hmm. And now as a senior, hopefully he is def hopefully he's at his best. They always, nine. Tend, they always tend to slim down too. I'll tell you one thing, Anna Corpus Christi does not make it easy on folks. Lampkin sends it across, right now to Bertain. Bertain picks up his dribble. Again, they're doing a great job locking up Bertain. Lampkin's quick swing. Monitors with five on the clock. Elijah Schmidt across the lane. They're going to say no. He didn't get up quickly. Thought he was going to be able to get through. So we've seen it on both sides. Defenses forcing turnovers via the shot clock. 8.40 remaining. First half action from the American Bank Center. Corpus Christi Athletic Club court. Vinny Shahid gives it up to Cruiser. Cruiser in deep to Giesel. Nothing available. They'll have to work it way. Outside to Quayle. Back to Cruiser. And he knocks it down. Rocky Cruiser. He was 40% three-point shooter coming in. Six of 15. Six-point advantage. And Corpus Christi needs a conversion. Not need the Bison to go on a bit of a roll. Lampkins wants to create a passing angle inside. Nothing there yet. They'll go to the high post. Jalen White, and he's going to be called for the travel. Again, on the pivot and pulling the toe. 7.59, time out on the clock. Stephen King, Doug Kesterson with you live from the American Bank Center. Stay with us. More to come on under basketball continues on this Chris Six Sports production. I've been an H-E-B truck driver for over 40 years and driven more than 3 million miles. I've seen a lot of wide open spaces and beautiful Texas places. It's the best job ever. All 700 of our friendly truck drivers are committed to getting fresh products to the store every single day. In fact, H-E-B drivers make more than 12,000 deliveries every week because Texas families need us, so we always deliver. This is the delivered fresh department at H-E-B. No store does more than my H-E-B. Hi everyone, I'm David Evans, owner of Evans Glass Service, where we blow out the competition by specializing in service. From your golf cart to your RV and everything in between, Evans Glass Service has you covered. Building a home or building a business, Evans Glass has left its mark in the coastal bend. From residential homes to commercial buildings like Texas A&M Corpus Christi and the Texas State Aquarium. Call us or come by our showroom or 101 North Potter Island Drive. Evans Glass Service, where we specialize in service. 15-9 the count. Islanders trail the Bison by six. Uh, and of Corpus Christi doing some of the things that we hoped they would do. They are rebounding the ball well. 11 boards compared to only seven. But they, tra but they trail 15-9 uh, in this contest at this point. We just got to be a little bit more efficient. Absolutely. We got to be a little bit more efficient with it. But I'll give credit to the Bison. They are forcing us deep into the shot clock and we're having to take a few forced looks instead of some clean uh, in the flow uh, execution and they got to hang on the ball a little bit better since the last time out we talked about it we had they had three turnovers now it's up to six so far so that's one of the things that's going to handle the ball a little bit better 
the points off of turnovers are one of the things that really stands out. Uh, three points for the North Dakota State. That's a stat that has been glaring over the last two games. Points off of turnovers. We've got to do better. They'll make you pay. Well, the rebounding is good. The turnovers are not. Shahid gives it up to Cruiser. Cruiser defended by Schmidt. They'll work it through. Pertain on Shahid. He was really fast to the rim. Boy, when you gave him just the sliver. That was about a foot and a half opening he had. I think I think the, the, the backside help has got to keep one eye on him at all times because he is a guy who loves to penetrate. Up to Elijah. They're going to step off of Elijah Smith. Pertain, he'll get a lot more respect at the three-point line. Down under 10. Into Jay Sean. He'll face up with Samuelson. And they're going to say he traveled as well. Turnover number seven. This has been the big issue for Texas A&M Corpus Christi. They trail by eight now. Well, it's a one-point game at one point, but North Dakota State kind of piling here. Coach Wilson and the crew always get back in there. They make some great second-half adjustments. Shahid left open. Quick swing to Samuelson. The Islanders, nice recovery. Shahid. Long rebound into the hands of Jay Sean to Miles Smith. Islanders need to take more shots. I know the defense Boy, that is some quickness. State is working well, though. There's going to be another foul called underneath, this time on Cruiser for Cruiser. That's his first team fifth, if I'm not mistaken. That is the case. Looking at it. Yeah, Schmidt has just kind of been a nuisance in picking up a couple cheap fouls. Miles Smith left open for three. He was left all by himself and truthfully kind of got it up quick. Maybe had a little bit more time to, to set himself. Shahid drop off. Vinny Shahid. Trying to make something happen. Nothing available yet. Shahid. Looked like he oh, looked like he took the extra step. I was going to say the same thing. But Shahid floats it in. It's a 10-point contest. His own version of the Euro. Jay Sean kicked it back to Jalen White. Retain again. Samuelson has been in his pocket the whole time. And again, from behind, Elijah Schmidt takes the bump. This time from Witz. For Witz, it's going to be his second. 5.46 remaining. Ward's going to return. Again, the team's leading scorer coming in at 14.5 per game. There it is He'll right come on there. for Harden Hayes. Yeah, you can just see it clear as day. Just dislodging him. Three ball open. He was quite effective last night, 50%, three of six from the arc. But tonight hasn't found his rhythm yet. Nice help. Miles Smith's got to get off the ground. Jumper up, no good. Nice recovery from the defense. I think it was, was it Miles Smith who fell? It was. But he was able to get back in and cause a little bit of trouble. Bertain gets to the free throw line. The fade jumper, that's nice. So Bertain off the dribble instead of the catch and shoot, able to get some space. Bertain actually had a few words for Samuelson. Not sure what that's all about. And there's going to be a stoppage as I think they're saying the floor is wet. There was no advantage at that yeah. time for the offense, so they go ahead and stop play. Greasel had hit the court and stayed down on there for a long time, and he kind of held himself up like he was feeling the effects of the hit for a moment. And that's, I think, where they're talking it's wet is where Miles Smith had fallen on the previous possession. Coach Richmond taking aside his big man, Tyler Witz, a six foot nine, 250 pound junior, just talking about what he did. Didn't argue the call, just explained that he, he lifted, used his hip, kind of raised that leg, and it made it easy for the official to make that call. Shahid will inbounds. They're going to put a lot of effort into this in, in the, the, the one spot. Not one, not two, Especially but 3,000 points. Schmidt was off balance a little bit, too, as that also kind of helped play a little factor in there. He did move Eli's, it. Eli's pretty good at kind of selling it a bit as well. He feels that bump. He sells it a bit, and, and that's 
a little bit of the gamesmanship. And it wasn't enough of the gamesmanship for him to get called or a warning no, on the flop. Not at all. Not at all. Something that's more Shahid. of a point of emphasis this year. He was the inbounder. Got it back. Jay Sean now the opposite direction. Nolan Bertain. He looked off left. You could tell. Bertain, he was definitely kind of drifting to his left. Drop off. Ward for three. That's not going to go. Long rebound. Mistimed by Bertain. Cruiser over the top. Looked like he fouled him in the process, too. Well, Bertain was caught coming downward. And Samuelson, that's one guy you can't leave open. He get, does not get it to go, though. He had five threes last night against UTRGV. Sitting here listening to the bench, and I love the communication when a player's coming up behind for a possible steal. The bench is sitting there calling it out. That's something some, the people in the fans don't necessarily you, pick up if on. If you it. ever hear the word wolf, that's exactly what's being talked about. Mm -hmm. Elijah Schmidt skipped to the open. They'll continue to work. Bertain in deep now. They could do, we'll do it again. One more time. Jay Sean, high archer. Man! They did that wheel twice. And then Jay Sean knocks it down to make it a five-point game. Do it like a bottle of shampoo. Lather, rinse, repeat. <laughs> <laughs> you liked that, didn't you? I was a little Yo, yeah, well, that is funny. I was a little concerned that all of a sudden we were getting tentative and not wanting to shoot. Someone not willing to step up. Swing. Three ball. No good. Elijah Schmidt with another board. Islanders can close to three, possibly to two in this possession. 3.20 remaining. Peyton Smith. Looking for Bertain. He got tied up. Smith's game has improved since he's come into the university. His job is just to be steady. Jay Sean. Feeling it. Crazy hot all season long. Two-point contest. 19-17. Those are big back-to-back -back threes. The bucket's looking really big. Really big for Jay Sean right now. The way he has started the year. Jay Sean already in double figures with 10. Ward. Man, that was a nice turn the there. Handle. And it's Jay Sean. He got his hand in there and took it away. With 235 remaining, the Islanders can tie or take the lead. We got some substitutions coming up in a moment for both squads. Picked up his dribble, kind of lost the momentum of the play. White with it. Now into Jay Sean. Ward. Okay. Jay Sean checks his own offensive boards, but he was on the baseline. Okay. okay. And he kind of gave a little nod like, yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. But again, he's been hot, maybe putting a little bit too much on his shoulders. But from three, he has been absolute money. Jay Sean Dalton Thomas, 1917. Hononers down two, doing a little bit of everything here at the American Bank Center. Honor basketball returns in a moment. The Southland Conference, 13 member institutions, over 4,200 student athletes achieving success in the classroom while excelling in 19 NCAA Division I sports and making a difference through serving others and giving back to the community. Determination, hard work, commitment, excellence, and collaboration. Together, we are Across divisions, sports, championships, and schools for nearly half a million student athletes. College sports create lifelong opportunity, and that starts with education. We've raised the academic bar, so more are earning degrees, creating healthier campuses by working with the nation's brightest minds, and making sure more have the chance to succeed and are supported on their journey. But beyond the numbers, it's about opportunity, and we're working to provide it for every student athlete. Welcome back to Islander Basketball in this Chris Six Sports production. Stephen King, Doug Kesterson with you. Been some pretty good shooting in the last few possessions for Texas A&M Corpus Christi. And Jay Sean's hot from behind the arc, 3-3 three three tonight. He is hot from behind the arc. Tried to force that last one, his first miss of the night. One-footer, one-hander. Crazy enough, he got his own offensive board, just wouldn't fall. You look right here, Jay Sean just bang from three. That was after they rotated the ball twice completely around. Impressive. After the turnover, though, 
It's not the turnover per se. I guess it was, con considering it was an offensive rebound on the baseline. Shahid defended by Peyton Smith. That around the world twice was Spurs-esque. Yeah. Good defense. Uh, Shahid left by wide open. Now that's his first really clean look we've seen for Shahid. He's got seven. Nobody that's, in the vicinity. And that's his first triple out of four shots. Adi Sotorio has checked in. The freshman out of Athens, Greece for Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Peyton Smith, Nolan Bertain. You can see Shahid really getting in into the body of Bertain. Francois, not his look. Gives it up. Jay Sean, jumper baseline. Misses the mark. Three of five, Jay Sean today. Griezel. Back top. Hunter defined by Sotorio. Shahid. It goes off the backboard and out of bounds. Oh, it was, it was off of by Francois. Not, off of Francois. I had the dreaded Willis Wilson blockade in front of my uh, <laughs> vision. I'm fortunate. I'm just down a little bit further than I was able to see around that. Miles Smith is going to check in. Timeout. I think Adis is going to be the one checking out, but it's going to be a quick 30-second timeout taken. And was it taken by, well, either way, we'll figure it out if it was by the Bison or not, I believe so, with 101 remaining. Some interesting stuff so far for AM Corpus Christi. They'll have the rest of the week off after tomorrow's game against UTRGV. They'll come back next weekend to take on St. Thomas in an Islander doubleheader at the Dugan Wellness Center. Absolutely. The women are hosting UTRGV in their portion, first game of the Navy Army Community Credit South Texas Showdown. That's correct. Then the men will take on St. Thomas in game two of that contest. So I'm sure after a three-game weekend and the women playing the, the WNIT and all the travel, it's a welcome to few three or four or five days off. It, it, not only that, but it's also just great to sleep in your own bed for once in a couple true. of days. Real quick, I want to thank all the great partners, HEB, Evans Glass Service, Chris Hick Communications, Physicians Premier, Stellar Energy Resources, Dave & Buster's, The Waves Resort, and AEP Texas. Shaheed, and there's an offensive foul, and it's going to be on number three, Tyree Eady, the 6'5 sophomore out of Middleton, getting an explanation. Dave Richmond wants it, and, and he's not satisfied. He's not satisfied with the explanation he got from the officials, but the call was made five-point contest. Under a minute to go here in the half. Miles Smith. Looks in, and, there, and, and a play over the go. top, Griezel. That is going to be one and one coming up as Jay Sean Talton Thomas will go to the free throw line. As you said, Jay Sean with 10, 10 points so far. Leading the way for all scores tonight. I will say this, while, we, while the Islanders come into this game 0-3, one thing for sure, uh, they're as scrappy as can be. They're in most every contest. The Louisiana Tech game, the opening night, we were not prepared. It was, it was, it was not our night, and it was an interesting conversation I had earlier today uh, with the head coach of Stony Brook, and he said, he, he looked at us and he's looked at all the film and he goes, oh, he goes, I don't know if anybody realized. He goes, oh yeah, he goes, Louisiana Tech would have beat us by 30. He goes, they're that good. <laughs> they are that good. Riesel swings it out. Hunter, three ball up. It's good. All in the trash talking start. Oh, it's been going on for already for a while. Drop off to Bertain. Willis Wilson's going to take it with 19 seconds on the shot clock. About a five second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And he's having a word just talking about the trash talk that, that uh, Hunter threw towards his bench. He wants to make sure the official is aware of it and he'll be looking for it moving forward. Nothing that you can do of moving, going backward, but moving forward, he wants to be aware of it. Uh, a low scoring game, but that's uh, again the way the Honors play defense, they bring teams down, teams that are averaging. 77, case, yeah. 78 points a game. Yeah, yeah, this team averaging 74 points a game. Main and Corpus Christi now holding them to 25 thus far. Uh, but got to pick things up. 
Brain and Corpus Christi. This plays right into the Islanders' hands, keeping it real close here at halftime. Make great second half adjustments. Coach Will Willis Wilson, Marty Gross, and Danoff, all of them put together a great, great game plan. They can make a great adjustment to stick in the second half, Stephen. I would, I would hope so. I hope to agree as well. I know Coach Richmond, as I said, he's a great coach himself. Won a game in the uh, first four last year in the NCAA tournament, beating North Carolina Central to face Duke in the opening round. They didn't do as well against Duke. I'll just tell you that right now. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I, I anticipate both coaches making some interesting adjustments, and I'm intrigued to see what it may be. Miles Smith with 19 seconds on the shot clock. He's going to wait, looking for maybe him to go ISO against Cameron Hunter. About a four-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Gets it to Jay Sean against Greasel. Kick out, Miles Smith. Three ball. No good. Elijah Smith with the rebound. Lost, but to Jay Sean. Jay Sean. Folder is good at the buzzer. An offensive rebound leading to the Jay Sean mid range jumper. It's a four point contest going into the break. 25 21. What a huge offensive rebound for Elijah Schmidt to keep that possession intact. And Jay Sean stepping up where needed. Doug Kesterson, Stephen King are with you. We're going to be going to the half. We're coming to you from the American Bank Center, the Islander Invitational, brought to you by Connie Gary and Jay Watson. We'll hear from them, by the way, at the half. A little celebration, head to the locker room. Jay Sean, Talk Thomas. Stay with us. More coming your way. Are you like many business owners that are so busy meeting so many demands that it's hard to focus on simply running your business? Stellar Energy Solutions wants to help at least take one thing off your plate. We will find you efficient energy solutions. As an experienced electricity broker, we shop your current electricity rates to multiple retail energy providers to compete for your business, resulting in low competitive pricing. So how do we do this? Well, as an experienced electricity broker, we use our industry resources, experience, and technology to view and analyze your company's usage. Then, we shop multiple electricity providers to provide you with a comprehensive quote, usually within 24 hours. Stellar Energy Solutions is a proud member of the Better Business Bureau in great standings and the Corpus Christi Chamber of Commerce. We supply you with a comprehensive business solution tailored to fit your energy needs, leaving you free to work on your core business objectives. Give us a call today at 361-884-8973 or visit us online at StellarEnergySolutions.com. Stellar Energy Solutions, we are a local business supporting our local community. If you're looking for that special gift and want something truly unique, you don't have far to go. Attic Antiques and Gifts is now decorated and fully stocked for Christmas. Check out the beach and cowboy trees, the full line of Thai, Beanie Boos, and Elf on the Shelf. Wide selection of candles by Circle E, Trap, Votivo, and Aspen Bay. Jams and jellies from Fredericksburg Farms, Consuela handbags, unique one-of-a-kind items you won't find anywhere else. Come see Attic Antiques and Gifts in Portland today. The holiday season always brings with it our biggest events of the year. If you've been waiting for the best time to buy, it's definitely time to shop Shaw first. Why? Because Toyotathon is on at Mike Shaw Toyota. So you can drive new 2020 Camry, $169 a month, or new RAV4, $199 a month at Mike Shaw Toyota. Locally owned and family owned. Mike Shaw Toyota, y donde se compra con mucho gusto. Rapid Air is Corpus Christi's best AC heating and refrigeration service. Whether it's residential or commercial, you can trust our experienced staff to get the job done. Ask us how you can qualify for up to $2,000 off a new system replacement. Take advantage of this month's specials to keep your AC system running efficiently. Here for all your AC heating and refrigeration needs. Call Rapid Air today. Call Rapid Air! Del Nelson, Juan Acuna, McLovia Perez, and Tom Harris. When severe weather strikes, trust the Coastal Bend's largest and most experienced weather team. As you see here, Elijah Schmidt sent a message early 
Jay Sean Talton Thomas. He's been on fire with 14 points, not only threes, but hit a big jumper as the horn sounded to end the first half, cutting it to four. It's a 25-21 Bison lead over your Islanders here at the American Bank Center at the, at the Islander Invitational. We'll take a break. When we come back, you'll hear from our sponsors, Connie Geary and Jay Wise. This Movie Minute is brought to you by Thomas J. Henry. This is one movie that I am for sure going to see. Check out Christian Bale and Matt David as they star the highly anticipated Ford versus Ferrari. The film depicts American car designer Carol Shelby and driver Ken Miles as they build a revolutionary race car for the 24 hours of Le Mans in 1966. So the great Carol Shelby is going to build a car to beat Ferrari with a Ford. Correct. And how long did you tell them you needed? Two or three hundred years? Ninety days. <laughs> Ford versus Ferrari is out now. More than 100 Americans die each day in traffic crashes, and more than 6,000 per day are injured. If you were injured in a crash, you may be entitled to recover damages. Call Thomas J. Henry, 24-7, nights and weekends. Just a spare man in a state has a share man. If I was just not there, man, in a state will be there. Batteries, four car trucks, all these cell phones, just should be so long. Just a flashlight, I don't like them real bright. Four cars, also rainwater graph, and marine lab, got a radio camera, and an eyeball. Want to put a key on, that's real advantage. I've got a sweet scrubber, come on, get them on the double. Batteries, to spare man in a state has a share man. If I was just not there, man, in a state will be there. In the Army National Guard, family means everything. Our parents, they were really supportive that all five of us would join. I got my education because of the Guard. I got to travel a little bit and experience a whole different culture. It helped me get my job, it helped me pay for my house. Being part-time really helped because I could have some opportunities that were still in education. Serving part-time in the Army National Guard instills pride that you and your family will share. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more about part-time service. And we're joined here at the Honor Invitational by the namesakes, the presenters of this tournament, Jay Wise, Connie Geary. Thank you so much for, of course, your unbelievable generosity to be a part of this event. And first off, let me just ask you this. Why did you want to be a part of this event? Well, we certainly want to support the students, the student athletes. And then basketball has always been my favorite sport. I think it really represents corporate America today in that you've got to be able to improvise on the fly. And that is basketball, the sport of basketball. Without a doubt. Now, Connie, I don't know if it's if your passion necessarily was the sport of basketball, but obviously there's something that wants you to continue to be active in events such as this. I just want to keep our uh, students, our local Corpus Christi kids here in Corpus Christi. I don't want them to go off to different universities when we have a great university here and we're proud of it and we want these kids to do great and uh, go Islanders. Without a doubt. Now, with you two, I mean, we appreciate you being here, but you're out and about in the community and you really want, you do a lot of community driven events and get behind them and put your money where your mouth is, but also, you know, you put your spirit and you put your, your time and effort into these events. Why is it so important? Well, to me, uh, it's from a spiritual standpoint. God made it crystal clear. If I don't give, I don't get. So there's nothing I enjoy more than the spirit of giving ever since I was a young boy. So whatever the endeavor to help out, count us in. Well, let me ask you, Connie, I mean, now that you're an avid Islander fan now, I mean, uh, do you have a favorite player just yet? I mean, I, I know that there's so many of them, and I know you're uh, maybe pinning it to the wall here, but I'm going to say. It's, it's got to be our local kid, Peyton. And, of course, all the guys are great. We, we love them all. But uh, i got to go with Peyton. 
you know, I understand the hometown boy, Peyton Smith. Now, again, I just want to, again, thank you very much on behalf of the university, on behalf of all the fans here and the players, of course, for, you know, being a part of this event and helping us bring it to Corpus Christi and helping us build what we hope to be a fantastic annual event for years to come. Well, thank you, Stephen. It really is surreal to sit up in the stands and knowing we had a small part in this. It, it just makes the heart happy. Connie Geary, Jay Weiss, once again, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Go on. We'll be back with more Islander basketball in a moment, right here on Chris Six Sports Production of Islander Basketball. Home renovations can be a hassle, but don't let it stress you out. Call Sal's Tile. We make updating your floors and counters easy and affordable. We're a local company that specializes in flooring and countertops. And as a family-owned and operated business, we take pride in our work. Sal's Tile has our own installers and have been making homes look great for 35 years. We've even been recognized as best of the best and reader's choice in Corpus Christi. Stick with Sal's Tiles, your one-stop shop for all your flooring, bathroom remodels, and countertop needs. You can drive anywhere in South Texas, but you won't find a better use selection than right here at Mike Shaw Automotive. Over 300 to choose from, starting at $59.99 at Mike Shaw Kia and Mike Shaw Toyota. We'll pay you $500 more for your car than any valid CarMax offer. Plus, shop over 300 pre-owned starting at $59.99. We'll buy your car even if you don't buy ours at Mike Shaw Automotive. In store or online, we always save you money. Kimsell Federal Credit Union has competitive rates and loan products, putting you in control of your financial plans by paying you back for banking with us. Kimsell consolidates credit card balances at competitive transfer rates and terms and offers auto loans at substantially lower rates. Does your bank partner do that? With four local branches and mobile banking at your fingertips, your financial future is in your control. Make the right move to Kimsell Federal Credit Union. We're here for you. I do, I love the panty melt. I guess when that craving hits you, boom, I need to have a panty melt. I'm traveling a lot. I had to make a connection into Houston. I had about an hour. Waterburger just opened at Terminal B. I grabbed my patty melt, started rushing it back. The lady was just closing the door. She goes, I'll go ahead and get you on the plane if you're willing to give up your Waterburger. And I told her, can you book me on to the next flight? And I was late for work, but it was worth every bite. <laughs> I don't think anything tops panty melt. You gotta have it. Order all your favorites from your phone. Welcome back. Islander basketball at the half, 25-21. The Bison of North Dakota State lead your Islanders. Let's check out some HEB statistics to this point uh, for North Dakota State. They're led by Vinny Shahid with seven points, a quiet seven points for that outstanding first team all Summit League performer. Only one of four from downtown, too. Only one of four. Uh, with six points, Cameron Hunter, he's hit two of two, both of his from beyond the arc. Their leading rebounder, Rocky Cruiser, he's got two offensive, four defensive. 12 boards, only two offensive. That was one of the keys to the game, to keep them off the offensive glass. The Islanders have done just that. They're shooting 38.5% from the floor, 10 of 26. From the three-point line, 5 of 17, 29.4%. And interestingly enough, they have not got to the foul line yet. The Islanders with only two personal fouls thus far. That's huge. So that's a huge deal. And for a and Corpus Christi leading the way with 14 is Jayshon Talton Thomas. Absolutely. Jayshon lead the way, like you said. They stepped up big time, knocking down those uh, three-pointers. Man, it was big time for him. Three of three from the arc, four of six from the floor. He's also three of four from the free throw line. Uh, the next cop scores, each with two apiece. Elijah Schmidt with two, Miles Smith, Nolan Bertain, each with two. Top rebounder is Jay Sean as well with five, one offensive, four defensive. Islanders with 18 boards, a plus six over their opponent today. Their four offensive boards to a plus two over this uh, Bison squad. And the shooting number's good as well. We'll take another break. Tell you more about it when we return for the second half. Hi, I'm Omar Lopez at AEP Texas. And did you know that Peace of Mind has a new ringtone? You can receive outage alerts on your mobile device for free. You can receive a text message or an email message when a power outage affects your area. Go to aeptexas.com slash alerts and sign up today. It's free and easy. Go Durs! Accidents are awful, and when you're injured in an accident, your worries can pile up faster than your medical bills. You might wonder what to do, who to call. The simple answer? Call Thomas J. Henry. Thomas J. Henry helps people who are in accidents get their lives back on track. 
We fight the insurance companies for you and help you get maximum compensation for your injuries. An injury doesn't have to be the end of the road for you and your family. Call Thomas J. Henry. Available 24-7, nights and weekends. When looking for a TV and internet provider, we know you have a choice. This is Claire. She has AT&T DirecTV. I get tons of HD. <laughs> Spectrum has tons of HD. On Demand and the sports channels are included. Well, DirecTV Select doesn't include the sports channels. And we get exclusive access to original content with Spectrum Originals. Oh, I don't get that. Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-952-4499. Spectrum Internet starts at 100 megabits with no data caps. My starting speed's only 50 megabits. Spectrum is two times faster. Spectrum Internet, $44.99 a month. I'd switch, but I'm in one contract for TV, second one for Internet. It could cost hundreds to cancel. Spectrum has no contracts, and they'll help buy out yours. <gasps> I'm switching to Spectrum. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $44.99 a month each. Call 833-952-4499. You're watching a Chris 6 News special broadcast of Texas A&M Corpus Christi Islanders basketball. Welcome back to Islander basketball. Doug Catchers and Stephen King here with you as we bring you a pretty exciting game. The Islanders trail the Bison, though, here in the half by four, but it was the Islanders with the momentum going into the halftime break. Absolutely. That Down was by 10, they cut it to four, and that's huge. Needed it. And hopefully coming out of the locker room with a lot of positivity. And of Corpus Christi trailed by as much as 10 in this half. I think it was 19-9, 6-0-3 mark. But had been able to just whittle that down. Uh, Bison has kept the Islanders out of the lead anytime they've gotten close. But and of Corpus Christi, as I said, with momentum starting the second half. And the ball. Schmidt, White, Smith, Dalton Thomas, and Bertain catch. The, the, the offensive set, that was designed in the locker room. How they were going to come out, they got a good look to Nolan Bertain, just drifted it a little bit deep. Honors appear to go zone. No, it's a, kind of a switching man. Greasel, and a foul by Jalen White. Greasel with the dish to Cruiser, and Cruiser with the big finish. So a and Corpus Christi was hoping to cut it to two coming out of the halftime, but it was Cruiser taking a beautiful feed across the lane. White out of frustration, chasing the play, gets him in the back. Not the way you want to start the ball game off in the second half. First free throw of the night for the Bison, one of one. White swings it around, looking in deep. Elijah Schmidt with Cruiser. Jump hook. That same jump hook last night he put over the shot blocker from Stony Brook, this time off the back iron. Looked like close to goal team when he was up in the circle on that rebound. Flirting with it. Don't know if we had the best angle up top. Samuelson. Wants to go inside the cruiser, not available yet. Shahid. Oh, there he goes. Doesn't fall, though, as he tried to really shield off Miles Smith. Didn't get his best look. Jay Sean thought about it, but quick closeout by the Bison. And there's going to be a foul on Elijah Schmidt. That's one of the things that happens when you have a small guard on you and you start leaning back on a small guard. The attention actually goes to you. Yes. You know. And they tend to move a little easier than the big guys do. And you see right there, he led with the forearm, pushing out Samuelson, and the official making the call. And not exactly the way they wanted to come out of the locker room. They have the offensive foul. And they've given up the three-point play the old-fashioned way moments ago. Greasel. Skip all the way to the top of Shahid. He'll go inside to Ward. And off the hands, is it off of? They say the Bison cutting to the hole was Greasel that goes off. Thought for a moment Jalen White might have got a piece of that. They say no. It was off Greasel's hand all the way. He was trying to hit him hard, and it was just momentum carried him too far away from the ball. 28-21. Willis Wilson just saying, hey guys, we got to get, get in some flow here. Islanders need a bucket. In motion. Trying to free Jay Sean. They go away from it. Miles Smith stepping to the lane. Oh, it rims out. What a good shot, though. 
As the defense faded off of him, that's a shot he'll take all night long. Make more often than not. Cruiser into Greasel. He'll send it back out. He's on the floor. And did they call? Did he get the timeout or is there a tie ball? The possession arrow is in favor of North Dakota State. There was a tie ball called. I wasn't sure if he was trying to make. Well, it looked like at first he was going to signal. Yes, it was jump ball. Then it looked like he was for confirmation from the other ref. Well, whatever it may be, and now that's they're the talking decision. About it. Well, I also think they're looking at the floor somewhat, but you're, there is a discussion being had. And they are saying, well, I, the, the, sure. the press row wants to, an indication what exactly was the call. Everything seems to be right, and, and uh, they will award it to the Bison. There was no foul call. So they'll switch over that possession arrow on the inbound. And wide Cruiser. open. Doesn't fall. Jalen White secures the board. Deflected out of bounds as he tried to get it up court to Jayshon Talton Thomas. Ward just flailing with his right hand, got a piece of it. And just enough to send it right to the front row. Seven point game. 28 21, Willis Wilson. Sends it to Schmidt. Back to the wing. Retain, really challenged by Samuelson. Miles Smith. Shahid does a great job. Even though he challenges the shot, he comes down in a great defensive position. Pertain deep three. Will it go? No. Rebound Ward. And that's going to be overthrown. Shahid with an ill-advised lead up the floor looking for Cruiser. 28-21. 17-12 remaining. Miles Smith looking for something in the second half has not been spectacular thus far. I believe right now we're about 0 for 3, 0 for 4 starting off the second half. I'll tell you, Ward, he's got those hands on Jay Sean as he's cutting through. Miles Smith going up against Shahid off the window. Will it not? Will it fall? No. Loose ball. Elijah Smith is there, can't finish. And Miles Smith caught for the foul. His first of the night. Some good hustle, great deflections, just didn't get the finish they were needing. I think Shahid sold that one a little extra too. Well, uh, and it, was, it wasn't a hard call for the official. Once he got into him the way he was, Peyton Smith's gonna check in. He'll come on for Jalen White. Sixteen forty remaining. And in Corpus Christi have played good defense, holding North Dakota to 37% shooting, but just have not been able to put the ball into the hole. Ward backing in retain. Here comes the double. Cruiser back into Ward, the left hander. And into the net was Griesel, the no call. And Coach Richmond's beside himself right now. And Miles Smith lost his shoe in the process. The official kind <laughs> enough to go ahead and give him the timeout to get his shoe back on. Take that thing on, right? Yeah, they, they'll do that in other sports, but it doesn't really work so well on the, on the, on the gym floor here. 28-21. Jay Sean, handoff. They'll get it back to Miles. Jay Sean wants the post up, a cruiser just lingering there in the back. We've got to find a scoring threat to pull Cruiser out of the out of the post. Jay Sean, jumper, tipped out. Looked like Schmidt had good position, but what Schmidt normally does is exactly that, that little tip out play. Shahid taking away the baseline. A little spin into Ward again, that left hander. Does he spin back or he goes across? Nope, this time he gets into the lane and gets the floater. Nice little left-hand hook from him. Yep, he's, once he sets up on that box, that's the shot he is preferring. In deep to Elijah Schmidt. He went from his flat foot up on his heel. And that right there, losing his balance. Sometimes you're, you're looking for the contact of the defense. 
And when the defense fades off, you lose your balance and fall. And that's yeah. what happened to Elijah Schmidt on that last play. 30-21 the score. We'll take the break. More when we return. We are innovators, nurses, and researchers. We are educators, artists, and champions. We are Texas A&M Corpus Christi. We are Islanders. Enroll today, Islanders Wanted. At Physicians Premier ER, our patients know the level of care we provide. Our amenities, technology, and expertise are unparalleled, but you really have to see it to believe it. That's why we're bringing the ER to you. Today, we're at a local university letting students experience the ER in VR. It was a cool experience. I like what I saw. I'm sold. We've made it so patients have very little wait time and can see a real doctor right away. It's better emergency care from arrival until follow-up. We call it the 360 approach. Physicians Premier ER, better care all around. Texas a Corpus Christi trailing 30 to 21 here in the second half, 15 24 remaining. Thank you again to some great partners, HEB, Evans Glass Service. Chris Six Communications bringing you this broadcast tonight, of course. Physicians Premier, Stellar Energy Solutions, Dave and Buster's, The Waves Resort, and of course, AEB Texas, the presenting sponsor of the Islanders Digital Network. Uh, second half numbers, and we were talking about it. AM Corpus Christi off to a slow start. 0 for 7 in the second half, 0 for 1 from 3. Uh, only 2 for 5. For North Dakota State, they haven't really been able to thoroughly capitalize on the inefficiency of the Islanders here in the second half. They built up what was a four-point halftime margin to what is nine. So they've added five to it. But and of Corpus Christi, as I said, just got to get a couple shots to fall and establish a rhythm and build some momentum. And they built a rhythm and a momentum late in the first half. It seemed like it just kind of tallied off and disappeared so far starting the second. Need a bucket, need one soon. Sometimes you have to play yourself into it. Let's see what happens here. Cameron Hunter is checked back in. Gets it up to Ward on the wing. Cruiser. Edie, the to Cruiser again, a three-point shooter. He's a big man that can knock down trays. It's Willis Wilson, I think, had word for Nolan Bertain as he was off on the rotation. North Dakota State doing a good job, just forcing some tough shots. Elijah Schmidt kicks to Peyton Smith. Up faking. Gives it to Jay Sean. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Smith. Miles Smith, deep three. Needs it. Got it. That's the needed one they needed. It. Got it. 33-24. All fine and good. Got to get stops. Edie back through Cruiser. Ward skips to Cruiser once again. This time it's Hunter. As they're looking around, they're finding open shooters. The Islanders are not getting the rotation defensively. So that was a big answer. That was back-to-back -back triples from North Dakota State. The Islanders are now calling the timeout. Timeout on the floor. We'll take it as well. 14.08 on the clock. Islanders trail 36-24 to the Bison of North Dakota State. Stay with us. More coming to you on this Chris Six Sports production of Islanders Basketball. Psst. Hey, you. Ever wonder what we cool people do to have fun here on the coast this time of year? Oh, yeah. You're looking at a whole new world of excitement and entertainment at Beautiful Waves Resort. Join us for drinks and gourmet dining at Eats at Pecura, dancing and partying in the Lookout Pub Emporium, the astounding new Unlocking Atlantis Escape Room, a world-class video gaming lounge, and eSports training facility with a virtual reality zone, movies under the stars on our giant screen, concerts, and year-round heated pool. Tonight or this weekend, come to the island's all-in-one entertainment destination, Waves Resort, Corpus Christi. Oh, and we don't do boring. I've been an H-E-B truck driver for over 40 years and driven more than 3 million miles. I've seen a lot of wide open spaces and beautiful Texas places. It's the best job ever. All 700 of our friendly truck drivers are committed to getting fresh products to the store every single day. In fact, H-E-B drivers make more than 12,000 deliveries every week because Texas families need us, so we always deliver. This is the Delivered Fresh Department at H-E-B. No store does more than my H-E-B. 
you're watching a Chris 6 News special broadcast of Texas A&M Corpus Christi Islanders basketball. Doug and I were talking off the break here and, and just talking a little bit about our keys to the game. One of the things that we had to do was try and get Jay Shun off. We've done that. Jay Shun with 14 points. We had to slow down Vinny Shahid. Only seven thus far. You know, he only averages about 12 a game, but I think we've done a fairly decent job keeping him in check. Uh, keep him off the offensive glass. We've done just that. 4 2. The turnovers are not so bad. We're, we're, it's 10 6, you know, but they've scored 11 points off of the Islander turnover, two uh, points scored off of a North Dakota State turnover. But the thing is, now we just got to put the ball in the hole. Started one for eight here in the second half. That's not going to get it done. Jay Sean drops off to Perry Francois. Night. It, it, it flips and doesn't go. Perry tracks down the loose ball, though. It did, gra did it graze the rim? Yes, but it reset to only 20. Jay Sean blocked, and he's fouled now. And then smile on his face. He knew it right there, too. Jay Sean's done a nice job of going up like that, drawing that contact and taking it. Well, he had the defender off balance. Did you see him just falling back? He was trying to recover from an off balance position, ends up striking him in the forearm. Big smile after the whistle. Jay Sean hitting the foul shot. Back to an 11 point game, trying to get it under 10. Bertain is going to check out. Jay Sean. Manis returning. Jay Sean now four so five from the line. Him. He missed his first one of the night. I'm going to say that there, the, there's no curse from the. <laughs> You said earlier that it's never, it's not, it's not a curse from a broadcaster, right? It's you never. said it earlier. It's never. He's 4-6 from the line tonight. That's a good night. That's a decent night, but you needed that one. Ward, doubled. Skips it back out to Cruiser. Oh. Francois on the flyby. They need to get a recovery. Edie is there in an easy lane. Doesn't go, though, but he gets his own rebound. Tries to make something happen. It does going to go off of the Islanders. So he did get the offensive rebound, extends the possession as they reset the clock. Quayle is going to come in for Samuelson. Eleven point I, game right now. It's not too far off. They just got to get another stop and get a couple of big buckets and get right back in this thing, Steven. The, the officials are looking at it. They're going to go ahead and reset it all the way to 20. Add the two seconds back. So I'm not exactly sure why, but that's the indication. Ward, at that sweep. I tell you, left-handers baffle me. Edie, swarming defense right down there right now. In deep to Ward again, just continuing to double. Quail, oh, they found him on the baseline. Francois on the fly by Jay Sean tried to come into the play, couldn't get it. Foul trouble, not an issue for the Islander tonight, but that's irrelevant to this point. 38-25, Peyton Smith into. Perry Francois looking to take Cruiser off the dribble. No, decides against. Skips it across to Jay Sean. Three ball. One of the rare misses. And Ed Kaufmanis does a great job. Ed Kaufmanis comes back into the play as Quayle brought it down to the waist. Ed gets the tie ball and the possession arrow favored the Islanders in this situation. Smart play by him right there, too. And you see this right here. You see Ed coming from behind, says, here's the ball. And he did not have his teammates crying out wolf for him to <laughs> no, <laughs> pitch him the ball. <laughs> I think it was a, yeah. I'm not sure. They're making, they're making him tuck in his jersey. You gotta stay neat, you're on television. You gotta, you gotta look pretty. Kaufmanis on the inbound. Looking for Miles Smith, well over the top. Out to Peyton Smith, can't get free from Ward. Try to turn the corner, kick to Kaufmanis. Three ball. Count it, Ed Kaufmanis. 38-28. Ed's only playing in his second game of the season. It looked like he played it off of his leg. He won the double Ward. dribble there. Here comes the double. And it's going to go off of Ward out of bounds this time. That's what we needed. 12.07. Javay Lampkins on for Miles Smith. Ed Kaufmanis has been trying to find his way into the rotation with Coach Willis Wilson. You make some big shots like that, you'll find more and more minutes, I promise you. And it seemed to energize the team as they've responded quickly and, and very efficiently on defense on that last possession for North Dakota State. Peyton Smith working at the point again without Jordan Hairston. 
The Islanders back up point, the freshman from Virginia. Jay Sean in the lane, kick out. Peyton, catch and shoot three. In and out, tipped up, controlled by the Bison. Islanders may trail by 10, but they are scratching and clawing right now. Hunter defended by Lambkins, now to the corner to Quayle. Good rotation this time by the Islanders. Laying, though, falls for Wits. Did a better job identifying the man down the baseline, but Wits, solid. Lampkins, open three. It's good. So Jave Lampkins, I told you earlier, he's not scared of shooting. Not at all, and that was the right opportunity to take it, too, as North Dakota State was sleeping. 40-31 to Ward on the wing. Jay Sean on the D. Needing a stop, Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Got it back to single digits. High screen from Witts. Deep three. No good, long board Francois. Kaufmanis. Fake the look to the inside. Juve. Kicks it across to Perry Francois. Jumper on the baseline, won't fall. Kept alive, controlled though by Ward. And then just what I talk about now, the teammates down on North Dakota State was crying wolf for their player there. Ball went off of Wits, it'll be on under basketball. Jay Sean got the deflection. It went off of, I believe, Wits and the Islanders will have it when we come back. 10-17 on the clock, 40-31. Islanders down nine to the Bison of North Dakota State here in the Islander of the State. Auto loan rates are falling at Texas Bridge Credit Union. Buy or refinance your new vehicle for as low as 3.33% APR and make no payments for three months. Fall in love with one of the lowest rates in the area at Texas Bridge Credit Union. Serving South Texas for more than 65 years. Hi everyone, I'm David Evans, owner of Evans Glass Service, where we blow out the competition by specializing in service. From your golf cart to your RV and everything in between, Evans Glass Service has you covered. Building a home or building a business, Evans Glass has left its mark in the coastal bend. From residential homes to commercial buildings like Texas A&M Corpus Christi and the Texas State Aquarium. Call us or come by our showroom or 101 North Potter Island Drive. Evans Glass Service, where we specialize in service. Auto loan rates are falling at Texas Bridge Credit Union. Buy or refinance your new vehicle for as low as 3.33% APR and make no payments for three months. Fall in love with one of the lowest rates in the area at Texas Bridge Credit Union. Serving South Texas for more than 65 years. Peyton Smith giving it up to Ed Kaufmanis. Getting people excited, Ed. And then Jave Lampkins, left in the corner by himself. They didn't give him the respect. He makes them pay as Lampkins back-to-back -back threes for the Islanders, 40-31 the score. They do trail by nine. Islanders are doing one thing better. At the halftime, they had eight turnovers. So far, only 10 of that. Two in the second half through 10 minutes of play. Absolutely. And started off so shooting the ball, going one of eight. Did not score the first five minutes, 20 seconds of here in the second half, but got hot, and that's exactly what we said just before the last break, is that they need some buckets, need them now, and that's what they're getting. The largest lead, 13, came at 38-25. Uh, since then, it's kind of a 6-2 run for Texas A&M Corpus Christi. It'll be Peyton Smith to bring it up. Lampkin stays on along with Jay Sean Talton Thomas. Tony Lewis on for the first time. The big man from San Antonio. Six foot ten. And there's going to be a foul away from the basketball. Jay Sean's on the ground. And he's hurting, and they're going to say the foul is on Jay Sean Talton Thomas. He took the brunt of the punishment. Did not see the play. I didn't either. I was following the basketball. Not sure if that's available to us on replay or not, just to see it. And we'll look at it one more time with Tony. And right there, there was a, just outside of the frame, Jay Sean ends up going to the deck. But he seems to be okay and stays on the floor. <laughs> Happening away from the play, the offensive foul call. That's only his second. Team fourth, though, in the half. Only one foul called against the Bison here in this half. We'll look at it one more time. Here's Jay Sean. And, okay, I see what it was. It's kind of like the moving. It was a moving screen. He was coming through as they were crossing pass. He pretty much went into the defender of Peyton Smith, I think, coming through. I think it was Peyton. It might have been Ed Kaufmanis. But 
It's it's kind of like a defensive back, or a wide receiver running a into play, a defensive back in, a, play. In, in the NFL. And it was the official was just talking to Jay Sean, telling him, explaining what he did. Right there. You see, he just kind of took him out, and he took the brunt of it. Elijah Smith's going to come on for Jay Sean, and he'll get a bit of a breather with 10.07 to go. Look like he hit this on one me, off. you know, Possibly. right over the upper part of the quad. Those sting a little bit. Greasel gives it up to Shahid. Again, we have not heard a tremendous amount from Shahid tonight. Javay Lampkins on that assignment. That is quite the assignment for Lampkins. A lot of weaving on the top. Greasel drop feed and spinning it off the window. Beautifully was Cruiser. That was a nice play. I didn't, I thought maybe he was off balance and wasn't going to get that to go, but he sure did. 11 point lead now once again. Lampkins sends it over. Ah. Oh as they looked on the screen and roll, just yeah. a little bit too distant, and that'll immediately get some substitutions. And uh, Tony that, Lewis was expecting Peyton to kind of signal him what he was wanting to do, and I don't think they were on the same page. And they were to see the conversation going back, it's like, you got to point out. Understood, 42-31. It is all about communication. Kaufmanis and Peyton Smith come off. And as we said, Ed earning some additional minutes, Lampkins. Seeing the time. Shahid now on the switch. Cruiser. Shahid now with Tony Lewis. Needs some help on the defense. Shahid up faking. Nice job on the help. And the Honors stop that possession. Back to Jay Sean. Left side. Now inside of Tony Lewis. To Cruiser on the repost, nothing there yet. High screen, Tony Lewis. Jay Sean needs some help. Eight seconds on the shot clock, spinning. Block from behind, but Tony Lewis is there. He's going to go in strong, no whistle. And they're going to say off the honors. Tony Lewis going in strong, takes the bump. Lewis, you can see right there. All the bodies on the replay, they got him across the forearm. Greasel in particular, number five. North Dakota State got away with one there. They did it that. Greasel will walk it to Shahid. Shahid with an 11 point lead for the Bison. Again, that weave. Samuelson back and forth. Down to 15 on the shot clock. Cruiser. Samuelson well short off the rim and out of play. Samuelson has again hit five last night, but for tonight, Samuelson has been rather quiet. 0 for 4. 0 for 4 from the arc. Yeah. I can tell by the halfway on that mark, on that ball going over there, it was off the mark and a little bit short. Nolan Bertain was hiding in the corner. No one had seen him, but finally, like one of the assistant coaches jumps off the bench for the Bison just saying, look at that guy. And so immediately the defense reacts. Bertain in deep to Jay Sean. Skip across for Lampkins. <laughs> as I thought, he looks, he was looking to shoot, but ends up going off of his toe as he was trying to make the move. Shahid, floater, won't go. He's you know, not having a big night. Vinny Shahid. That was a Miles move. Smith got all the way in. Elijah Smith on the follow. Nice offensive board and put back. 42-33, back to single digits. 7.30 remaining. Cruiser almost loses. It's going to be knocked out of bounds by Elijah Schmidt. With that, there'll be a stoppage in play with 7.25 remaining. Islanders down. 42-37 to the Bison of North Dakota State. Texas A&M Corpus Christi basketball here on this Chris Six Sports production. The catch with Stephen King. Got more when we come back. Company cars, trucks, SUVs, vans, and fleet vehicles are involved in thousands of accidents each year. An accident with a company vehicle is not just another car accident. If you were injured in a company vehicle accident, call Thomas J. Henry. Thomas J. Henry handles serious company vehicle accident cases and gets serious results for injured clients. Call today. Thomas J. Henry is available 24-7, nights and weekends. 
Hello, I'm Mike Shaw. Mike Shaw Toyota is happy to announce our third annual Turkeys for Troops event. This year, we will give away over 3,000 turkeys to active and veteran military personnel and their families for the Thanksgiving holiday. And we're proud to be part of the team that's providing a renovated, mortgage-free home to a hero and their family. On behalf of everyone at Mike Shaw Toyota, thank you for your service and happy Thanksgiving. You see Miles Smith weaving his way through. Although he couldn't get it to go, it was Elijah Schmidt in traffic. with a big offensive rebound. They're needing it every opportunity. They can't have wasted possessions. 7.25 on the clock. Schmidt trying to make this a special senior campaign for himself. As I said, he's just continually gotten better and better each year. 42-33 the score, though. Tomorrow. Four o'clock start for the Islanders, a game that can be seen on the CW tomorrow. Another Chris Six Sports production will be taken on UTRGV as part of this Islander Invitational presented by Connie Geary and Jay Weiss. But it's also a South Texas Showdown matchup with UTRGV presented by Navy Army Community Credit Union. So there's a lot going on tomorrow. Uh, the first game of the day, one o'clock, it will be North Dakota State and Stony Brook. If you want to see some really good Division One basketball, that's what we've had all weekend long. Ward to inbound to Shahid. The fans can still get tickets for it, correct? Absolutely. Islander ticket off. It's an 8-2-5 ball, or of course, right at the window. Shahid misses the mark. So the Islanders with a chance to cut it down. Miles Smith gives it to Jay Sean. I'd love a three right now, but two works just as good. Jalen White whips it back to Miles. Skip across. Nolan's got to come back to the basketball, so he does not give him space. Elijah Schmidt on the catch. Looking, at, oh, taken away by Ward. Ward with those long arms, swept it out. Cruiser picked up the basketball. Shahid. Wheeling gives it up. Samuelson hasn't made one yet. Of course, he makes one now. He was left wide open, the three-point shooter. One of five now from downtown. Peyton Smith looking to check back in as well as Hunter for North Dakota. Nolan Bertain on the catch and shoot. It's good. Nolan Bertain coming back to the basketball. That's exactly the shot we needed. And I like one thing about Nolan's shot. He is a jump shooter. It's a lot of three-point shooters are set shooters. He's not one of those. He catches it in rhythm, knew exactly what to do. 45-36. Ward. That looked like an extra step. Nice challenge, though, by White, forcing him to go through the lane and try and flip it back towards the bucket. Mm -hmm. Out to Jay Sean. Three ball up. Won't go. Elijah Schmidt went inside. It, oh, off of Shahid's leg, but right to Ward. Schmidt made a great defensive play. And White puts him on the deck. Jalen White went up for the good D. See it right here with Nolan Bertain earlier. Just boom, catches in rhythm. The jump shooter, nothing but the bottom. We need Nolan Bertain to be more available. Open some screens, set some things for him to get him some of the looks that are necessary because he is going to be an important threat for this Islander team this season. Peyton Smith coming on. A rare miss from Tyson Ward. There was a substitution. The Islanders make the change. They were going to put Smith in, bring him back on. Ward's a 76% free throw shooter. That was a rare miss. Ward did short that one short. Coming back on. Edie. Edie Samuelson, Hunter, Ward, as well as Griesel. Back to 10, 46-76. Retain gives it back up. Working it around. White. Up top. Jay Sean at the elbow. And he's drawing a lot of attention. Edie's trying to do something with it. Taken away. Hunter. Yep, got caught in a double team. Tried to escape. Ends up throwing it away. Ward with the basketball. And a foul on Schmidt from behind. 
That's only the sixth foul against the Islanders, so they'll reset the shot clock to 20. Second foul on Elijah Schmidt. Francois is going to come on for Elijah. Perry Francois returning. Peyton Smith also coming back on. I don't this think time the, for Jalen White. I don't think the scoreboard up there is actually accurate. They, I'm not sure. That's on the game, not the half. And so, so that's that's six in the. There was only two fouls that's in the right. first half against the Islanders, if you recall. Okay. So six here in the second half. So there's eight total. And there's going to be is. an offensive foul as Bertain set him up. And the nice signal player control. Right now you see Bertain just positioning himself, knows where he's going to go. Because Ward has been making that play all night. He wants that sweeping left hand. This time Bertain learned, positioned himself, took the first contact. And it's a bit of a gamble. I have to admit it's a gamble to a point when you do so. But it worked out well. Sometimes the official is not going to give you that love. And it's been an issue all night. It's been a little warm in here, typically for the American Bank Center, what we're used to having here, especially with the ice race doing a lot of action I think there's been some dehumidifier issues here at the Bank yes. Center, but we'll figure that out. Ed Kaufman is getting ready to come back on. Kaufman will come on. So they're going to go a little bit smaller lineup if Francois checks out. But this kind of matching the Bison, largest player on the court. For them, number five, Sam Griesel, the six foot six sophomore. Trying to free Smith. Jay Sean in the corner with Ward. Goes behind his back, kicks it back to Miles. Catch and shoot three. Off deep, ends up to Edie. Had a little, seemed like he had a little bit of a bobble. Mm -hmm. Hunter gives it up to the wing. Honor still down 10, 46 36. To the corner, back up. Good ball movement. Up fake, Samuel. Peyton Smith. Oh, got caught in midair. Samuelson on the second fake. Got him leaning, and, and he'll shoot three. Samuelson coming in tonight. Doesn't shoot a whole lot of free throws, but what he has shot, he has been perfect. Two of two thus far through four games. He hovers around that three-point line. Normally, you don't see him driving to the hole, getting opportunities. Got the fortunate roll on that one. He did at that. And the Islander defense on that last possession was really trying to keep him from that, making that three, not contesting those threes, getting up in their face. It's just, Smith just got over a little zealous. He set, gave him two fakes. He gave him the initial fake, then the step back to the left fake, and that's when Peyton tried to overcompensate and just got caught leaning in. Samuelson. Wary of the situation, just knew to draw the contact. Peyton Smith finds Miles and Jay Sean with it. Miles Smith, little floater off the window, finds its way. Fortunate roll. Yeah, had a little bit of a bump, I believe, with Hunter and was able, and, and, and if he would have extended the arm, I think they would have called offensive because he was initiating the contact. But that being the case, Griesel who played for the German under-20 team in the FIBA European Championships. Ward for three. No air good ball. on the air ball. 327 off the air ball. When we come back, it'll be Honor basketball. 49-38 the score. Miles Smith trying to put the team on his back. Off the window. We need a lot more of that in a very short amount of time. I did some early shopping this year. One for you, one for me. I love it. I got us a little something too. Yeah? Yep. One for you. And one for me. I love it. Oh, actually that was supposed to be for me. I love it. And I love that you love I it. I love it. I like red. Step up to GMC and get nearly 12,000 total value on this next generation Sierra Texas edition. Only at your Coastal Bend GMC dealers. Right now, one of the big crazes in our industry right now is the adjustable beds. Adjustable beds give you the ability to raise your head and your feet, giving you more of a zero gravity feel, which means basically taking the pressure points away. 
Cantwell Mattress Company is one of the largest manufacturers of adjustable beds in South Texas. We actually build our own adjustable beds and offer them straight to our clients at a better price than any of our competition out there. We can't well sleep without a Cantwell Mattress. You're watching a Chris Six News special broadcast of Texas A&M Corpus Christi Islanders basketball. The score, the Islanders 38, the Bison 49. Islanders down 11 as we return to the floor. Miles Smith made a nice two-point jumper into the lane just a moment ago. An air ball by Ward has given the Islanders back the possession, but they bring back in Vinny Shahid to the Bison. Samuelson, Griesel, Edie, and Ward. Bertain, Peyton Smith, Miles Smith, Ed Kaufmanis, and Jay Sean Talton Thomas on. Again, both playing with a little bit of a smaller lineup in these final moments. Bertain will get it to Peyton. Islanders really need some offense output right now. Smith has it deflected over the backcourt. Jay Sean wisely, instead of trying to tightrope the line, tries to make a play. Jay Sean kick out. Peyton Smith, three. That's good. Peyton Smith rips the triple. 49 41. Timeout, Willis Wilson. So nice job. Effective penetration, kick out, find the open shooter. Got it done. We'll stay right here on this 30 second timeout. Uh, do what you have to do right now. If the small lineup is the best option, you run with it. As a matter of fact, they're going to get even smaller. Jave Lampkins is coming back on. Another three-point shooter. And who you said is not I'm not sure who's not coming out, but yeah, but again, not afraid to take a shot. You give him an open look, he's going to launch without a doubt. So Peyton Smith knocking down that tray. Of course, a Corpus Christi product at a Veterans Memorial High School. Uh, he's been with this program in his third year and is just grinded. And and it has been kind of the pride of this team because he gives it all. He, he, he hustles and he's earned every minute he's got tonight because of the effort he's put forth over the last two years. And Coach Wilson does not play favorites and put somebody in just because With, he's from the hometown. Without a doubt. No. Without a doubt. It's his play to win. On the inbound, Griesel, double team. Ward, caught for a moment, giving up the, giving up the sideline briefly. They'll skip it. Oh, Peyton Smith deflected. Did they say no? It was Peyton out of bounds. That was the idea. Forced the tough pass. Peyton got there just a hair late, was able to deflect it out of play. Risa will inbound. There's still three seconds on the shot clock. They got to get it over. Shahid. Defended by Miles. Wants to turn the corner. Cannot. And their defense has really stifled him out tonight, especially here in the second half. But Shahid is also content, waiting for this opportunity. Blocked by, oh, blocked by Bertain, but a follow-up immediately. Was that, was that Ward? It sure was. A great block by Bertain, but Ward comes in for the follow. Tough finish after the great defensive play for the Islanders. Ed Kaufman is looking to return here in just a moment. 51-41 the score. It's two you steps watch it here, Shahid. Here comes Bertain. Beautiful block, but Ward trailing the play. Just a frustrating moment there when you're making a defensive play and again trying to steer that momentum in your direction. 2.38 remaining. Appreciate all the honor faithful coming here tonight. Look to see you again tomorrow, 4 o'clock, here in the American Bank Center against UTRGV. Tremendous rivalry. Been going on ever since the independent days back in, well, probably starting back in 99. It was UT Penn American at the time. That rivalry is a long-standing one here in South Texas. Peyton Smith. Not a lot of, Jay Sean. Not a lot of fan, or alumni from UT Pan Am. They still call it that. Jay Sean. Nice had, move. Yeah, Edie got a little, has a, got a little bit uh, off balance giving Jay Sean the advantage. Shahid flips it up the wing to Heat uh, to Edie. Clock is not necessarily on the Islanders' side with 2:09 remaining, but they've got to get stops. Miles Smith trying to force him to his left. The screen. Kaufmanis on the switch. Five seconds. Look for him to pull up on a step back. Doesn't go. Oh, what a 
and a foul on the floor. Unbelievable offensive rebound by Sam Griesel. This is one of those late offensive rebounds that has come to haunt the Islanders at times. He goes back up, misses the shot, but will go to the free throw line to shoot two. It appears that they're in place, but Griesel, he did not foul Bertain. He went over Bertain to get it and definitely got fouled in the process going back up as you look at the replay. Didn't see it from our angle here on the score table. Griesel knocks it down. Not a great three point, a great free throw shooter coming in, 50%, but that looked pretty solid to me. And he gets two of two. Peyton Smith will let it roll up to half court. We're under a minute 50 to go. Peyton Smith kicks to Kaufmanis. Little short jumper off the mark. 138 remaining. Shahid willing to just continue to work time off the clock as he leads by 10, he and his teammates. The Bison up by double digits. Here comes the double. Shahid triple quick. Samuelson skipping back to Shahid. Shahid gets to the elbow, backs it out. Off the window, won't go, tipped up. Who's got it? It's going to be Jay Sean Talton Thomas in transition. The Bison get back. Now he's going to just try and go ISO. Leaning in on Griesel. And does just that. Able to wear him down to get it to go off the window. That's 19 points for Jay Sean Dalton Thomas. It's in a full timeout taken by Willis Wilson. His last. We'll stay here through this break in the action. 53-45. You see Jay Sean right here. Just staying with the play. Up faking. Finally getting Griesel off his feet. And then sneaking it out the window. He wanted the contact. That just base. It, it, he wanted the initial contact. He but go for it. You know what? He he needed the bucket. Forget the contact. Yeah, he, he needed did. the bucket. And he kept working to get it. Wanted a three-point play, but said, I'll take the two. 53-45. It's an eight-point contest. The time may not be on the side of Texas A&M Corpus Christi, as I mentioned earlier. Do they have enough time to make up an eight-point lead? I don't know. But they're going to have to get a turnover and not allow the Bison to just work that clock down. They're either going to have to foul or gamble early and see if they can get a steal, force a turnover along the way. Looking at some of the numbers, Aiden Corpus Christi, again, not shooting great in the second half, 34%, but they've also forced North Dakota into some tough possessions, and they're only shooting 37%. Each with nine field goals, the Islanders with five threes in the second half, compared to only three. The free throw line, seven of eight. North Dakota State, five of eight for the Islanders. Islanders up being scored 28-24 here in this second half. But again, they were down four at the half. So it's just, it's a consistent almost replay of the first half. Ward on the inbound, running the baseline. He calls the timeout as the Islanders do a good job. 30-second timeout taken. And close to the violation. Very close. Like so again, that's great. That's great defensive effort. <laughs> half, half a second or so. Yeah, if, if that's for sure. Women's basketball. You're on the road with them at WNI at the WNIT. The double overtime loss at South Alabama was heartbreaking, but a, I say a great performance put forth by the Islanders in the WNIT. The tough loss to Missouri State, who's outstanding. But then they were a Sweet 16 team last year. Exactly. And, and South Alabama won 25 games last year, so those were those good contests I was talking about a little bit earlier. Play some tough opponents, get yourself ready for conference play coming up. They'll open up the doubleheader next Saturday at the Dugan Wellness Center as they'll take on UTRGV in a showdown. Full length pass. Nolan Bertain just couldn't get there in time. The full length pass, that's how you combat a gambling defense. Lampkins. Caught in the corner. He's going to just launch. But Jay Sean is there. Kick out to Bertain. Bertain for three. Doesn't fall on the gamble. And Lampkins on the foul of Hunter. 45, 55-45. Uh, Lampkins got caught. He just didn't appear to have an outlet. And so he just made the choice to go ahead and try and launch. Sometimes that's they're, they're just covering the passing lane. Sometimes it's just your teammates are not coming back to the ball. Kaufmanis will come on for Miles Smith, Miles Smith with 34 seconds remaining. Two, 
in double figures tonight. Jay Sean Talton Thomas leads all scores. For South Dakota State, a little more balance. Cruiser and Hunter each with 11. First foul shot is good. Hunter makes it his 12th point of the night with that attempt from the foul line. With that conversion, excuse me. 56-45. Hits them both. Peyton, quickly, up to Ed Kaufmanis. To Jay Sean. Oh, slipped through his fingers. Onaders are saying, Samuelson with the basketball. Onaders are playing him tough, but no fouls. They'll get it to Shahid. And with the shot clock winding, the Onaders are down 12. Willis Wilson is calling off the defensive dogs. The offense from North Dakota State, they'll just Very dribble well this one out. Mm -hmm. The final score here tonight at the American Bank Center in round two of the Onager Invitational presented by Connie, Gary, and Jay Wise. 57-45, the Islanders fall to the Bison by 12. A tremendous effort without a doubt, but unfortunately short this evening. Doug Kesterson heading over to the baseline, see if we can catch Willis Wilson before he heads back into the locker room space. He's heading over. And then, of course, in the post game, Marty Gross will be joining us. Caster Doug now on the baseline with head coach Willis Wilson. They are now joined by the head coach of the Honor men's basketball team, Coach Willis Wilson. Coach, just a rough night shooting the ball tonight. Did everything they can, though. Yeah, you know, I thought our guys played extremely hard. I was really proud of the way our guys came out and, and just played with a lot of effort and sensitivity. We're getting better every day. This was a heck of a basketball team uh, that we played tonight. They showed their maturity, and they showed why they're picked to win their conference, and we still got a little work to do. Absolutely. You've got a big ball game, a showdown tomorrow with the UTRGV. What do you expect to see? Well, uh, I, I, hopefully we, both teams are going to have to recover. I mean, both teams played grueling games today, this third game in three days. It's a rivalry game, so I think the, the emotions will be high. It tends to be the case when, when teams that are, are, are tired and they both want to win, so I expect to see two teams that are just going to scrap. Coach Wilson, best of luck, and, and thanks for your time. All right, thank you. All right, Steven, take it away. Well, I appreciate it. Doug, we're going to take a quick break. Come back. We'll have Marty Gross, associate head coach, when we return. Stay with us. More to come. Monitor basketball.